Okay, welcome to guide three, step four, where we install the uh, right side motor driver. To do this, you're going to want to have out your internal electronics assembly, which should look something like this at this point. And you'll also need three of these half inch size 440 machine screws. And you'll also want three 440 nuts. And just for reference, this is a Cytron a 10 amp dual channel reversible motor driver. They're really cool, really reliable, and we get ours from Robot Chop. So first things first, we're going to turn the entire internal electronics assembly onto its left hand side, uh, like so. And this is a good time to make sure that these uh, ribbons of jumper wires uh, kind of lie flat against the internal cradle. And I like to uh, lead mine out the back in this direction. That'll give us plenty of room to actually mount the motor driver on top of them. So the motor driver should be oriented something like this. Um, and just double check that those uh, holes line up with the pre-tapped holes on the internal cradle. Now use a screwdriver to thread a 440 machine screw through the bottom two and top left uh, pre-tapped holes. Then thread a 440 nut onto each screw from inside the internal cradle. This will keep the motor driver snugly in place. Now it's time to install the jumper wires that let the Raspberry Pi control your motor driver. First, connect the jumper wire that's at the Raspberry Pi's GPIO2 pin to the motor driver's DIR1 pin. Next, connect the GPIO3 jumper wire to the PWM1 pin. Next, connect the GPIO4 wire to the DIR2 pin. And finally, the GPIO17 wire to the PWM2 pin. Thanks for watching, and in the next video, I'll show you how to install the power source for the Raspberry Pi.